Let's now go ahead and work on displaying and reading from the database, displaying the results that we get. So let's go ahead and navigate to the SQL project that we have, the PCL project, and open the database helper. And we're going to create a method that is going to allow us to read from the books table. So let's go ahead and create a public static uh, list of book method that is going to be called read and that is going to be receiving still the DB path. So we still need the DB path to know what are we going to be reading. So the first thing that I'm going to be needing is to create a list. Actually, we need to add the using statement to system.collections.generic to be able to use the list class and define a list of books. So this is going to be books and it's going to be initialized as a new list of books. Okay, and at the end, we're just going to be returning books. So there you go. It, but in the middle is, cool, is where the magic is going to happen. So I'm going to have something very similar, creating a connection that is going to be equal to a new SQLite with SQLite connection that is going to be created with DB path. And inside, we actually can use con dot table that is going to request us what kind of table, which table am I going to retrieve? Okay, return, retrieve the book table. And this method, the table method, is actually going to be returning a list of something. So to be able to convert that enumerable to a list, let's just call to list. And to be able to use this to list method, extension method, we're going to be needing to add a using statement to system.link. So once we have this using statement, we can use this to list method and assign the return value to the book books variable that we already have in here. So there you have it. We are retrieving the book table, converting it to a list and assigning it to the list that we have in here. So that's everything that we need to do inside of this PCL. Let's now go work in the Android project. So actually the first thing that I need to do is create a new activity. So I am going to go ahead and add a new file. I'm going to select Android and I'm going to select activity and I'm going to call this books activity. Now I don't need to create an AXML file for this one because all I have to do is convert this to a list activity. We've already covered creating lists with Android. And the next thing that we have to do is create uh, an array adapter that is going to be equal to a new array adapter. And this is going to be the context. The resource is going to be Android or resource or layout dot simple list item one. And what we are going to be passing is the list of books. So how do we do we get the book? So let me just define this in here and I'm going to add it in a second. I am going to be creating a list in here of type book and we're going to be needing to add a using statement to be able to use that in a second. So using statement for the classes and before we call create the array adapter we have to initialize books equal to new list of books, of course. And to be able to populate this one, let's just go books is going to be equal to, and we have the data base helper method in here, uh, the read method, and we need the DB path as well, which we can get from main activity where we have created the DB path like this, so we can copy this, so we make sure that it's the exact same file that we're going to be accessing. And so to this one, we're just going to pass the DB path. We need to add a using system.io to use the path class in here. And that is pretty much it. So the, the last thing that I have to do is this dot uh, list adapter equals array adapter. And that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and test this. I am going to stop this from running on the iOS project. I'm going to select the Android project and I'm going to run this on the simulator. Now you don't have to wait, so...
here is the project running and of course we forgot something very important which is to navigate to the actual list so I am going to head back to main activity and I, actually what we can do is just make the other one the main launcher so I am going to copy this and paste it over here in the box activity so the books activity just like right now the main activity is the main launcher I am just going to delete this and I'm going to copy and paste it into this one so now the main launcher is, is the books activity instead of the main activity so let's go ahead and test how that works so now here it is it is open running and we have a list already working with the five books that I've added but it it says actually the namespace and the name of the class so we've already taken a look at this all we have to do is head back to the book class and override the two string method so I have this two string and instead of just returning the namespace I am going to be returning something like uh, I, I'm actually going to be changing this to something that is new in C sharp 6 and it's going to be the name of the book and in, in parentheses I'm actually going to be adding the author so I have something like this so I can save this and run my application one more time to see the changes being applied the application is running and take a look how indeed now we have this book the start with why that is the one that I added then this books that I added uh, very quickly and then this book that has just no string of empty strings in it but there we go we have inserted into the table we are reading from the table everything or most of the code is on the PCL so that is a very good point for us in the next lecture we're going to do this for the iOS project